Hi, I'm Wes. I'm with Archways and Ceilings Made Easy. We've brought you videos on how to measure, how to install, and today I'm going to show you how to drywall. But before we get started, we always suggest using a double layer of quarter inch flexible drywall. Why? It's flexible and easy to work with. However, if you want to use half inch, we're going to show you a few tips along the way. Here's a quick tip. Using quarter inch flexible drywall, all you got to do is bend it up and put it into place. There's no secret here, it's flexible. If you're using half inch or quarter inch, you may have to wet the back. What you want to do is just simply soak it down, wait about 10 minutes, and then repeat the process. You are now ready to hang drywall. The ceiling we are drywalling today is a 7 foot dome with a soft rise. The dome does not have the additional light ring option, but the drywalling method you will see will work for any dome ceiling with any curvature. Step 1. Attach drywall panels to the ceiling so they overlap the entire curvature of the dome ring. Step 2. Using a drywall router, also known as a cutout tool, cut off the overlapping drywall by guiding it along the dome ring. Mark the centers of the dome rafters and take measurements at different intervals between the center points. Step 4. Transfer these measurements to a piece of drywall and cut out a pie shaped piece. Cut out a second pie shaped piece to use as a duplicating pattern for the rest of the pieces. Quick tip. You can pre-bend the drywall by carefully flexing it by hand. This will help keep the drywall from cracking or breaking when attaching it to the curved framing. Step 5. Attach the pie shaped piece to the dome rafters by aligning it to the center marks and screwing it in place. Step 6. Use the duplicating pattern to cut out another pie shaped piece of drywall. Step 7. Attach the second pie shaped piece alongside the first piece. Quick note, some trimming of the pie shaped pieces may be needed to ensure that all of the pieces fit together perfectly. Step 8. Repeat steps 6 and 7 until all the dome raptors are drywalled.
Step 9. Cut drywall into strips as wide as the dome ring and press into place. Attach using drywall screws spaced no more than 6 inches on center. Continue until the whole ring is drywalled. That's it. All you need now is a little tape, a little mud, and a little paint. We're archways and ceilings. We make it easy every step of the way.